Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can set up a quiz. Quizzes are an amazing tool specifically because you can now actually score the replies people will give you. No matter if you're an educator, a course creator, or maybe even a fitness trainer, quizzes can come really handy if you want to sell your programs, for example, and you want to give the right program, the right landing page, right sales page to the right audience. And in case you just want to segment your audience and you want to find out, hey, who is interested in losing fat or who is interested in gaining muscles or who is interested in traveling abroad and attending this fitness event, you can then hand out this quiz. People can send in their answer and according to the scores and according to these answers, you can then trigger workflow which segments your audience. Let me show you how you can set this up. So to access the quizzes, click on sites on the left, and then you will see quizzes at the top. Here you can see the builder and also later on when somebody has already submitted their questions, you can click on submissions and you will see all the answers right there. Well, now let's click add quiz, then click the plus sign on the left. And here you can see all the different elements that you can just simply drag and drop over to the pages. So let's say we start with a single choice right here. Just move it over like that and let go. Or you want to have a multiple choice. You just move it over like that. And they created a second page. You can see one page per question or per element, basically. Which, by the way, increase conversions if they only see the one thing. They focus on the one thing and then they click submit or next. If you wanted them to ask a question, you can choose between short answer or long answer. Or if you want specifically only a number, you can drag and drop that over. Where is it at? Right here. So this prevents the client from putting in some sort of text like, oh, I don't know or not sure yet. You really just want to get the number from them, for example. And if you click on each of those elements, you can see on the right hand side, you can also make those required or hidden. Okay. So basically, if it's really important for you to get that information that they cannot move on to the next step, if it's required, unless they answer that particular question. And then we have some more options like single drop down or multi drop down here on the left. And to the very bottom at the very end, so at the very last page, basically, that's the time when you want to ask for the full name and for the email, for example, definitely phone numbers. You can send WhatsApp messages that again, increases conversion. So if you add those details at the end, people are more likely to give this data to you because they think, oh, I've already submitted so many questions, so I may as well just finalize it, you know, and scrolling further down here, you can add addresses and you can add customized boxes as well terms and conditions if you wanted to HTML code. You can even ask them to upload a file if that's important to you. A date picker is, uh, for example, if you're running live events and you want them to choose the preferred date when they want to travel or want to attend the date, you can do that. And as well, custom fields at the top. So click plus add here and then you can add your custom fields. In the drop down menu here, you can see contact opportunity. This is where they would then show up under the contact card. Okay, now let's go back to quick add. Now it gets even cooler. So click on the first page, for example, here on the right, you can see it's a single choice. You can also rename this. Let's remove that. You can add a placeholder if you wanted to. You can add a short label and you can add the query key. Okay. Again, make it required or hidden. If you click on options here, so this is the cool part. Option one is, hey, if no matter what they select in the single choice, we're going to give them one point or one score for any of those options. However, if you wanted to say, hey, I want to give different score points to different replies, click add or manage. Here you can say overall, or you can add, for example, if you're a fitness trainer, right? Okay. That means fit. That means unfit. And this one is average, for example. Okay. Then hit submit. This would obviously be the single choices, right? One of those. Let's say they would select fit. Then we're going to give them a score of two, for example, right? And if they're fit and the next question would become obsolete, for example, we can also turn on, hey, Instead of jumping to the next question, just jump to another question, which we select right here, because depending on what they answered, the next question may not be relevant, if that makes sense. You can also add split columns here. So let's turn on the spread to columns button here. And then you can see we added two. If you want to add three, you can make this three columns as well. For now, let's keep it at one. Let's turn this off again. So if you click add option, it's just another option like option one, two, three, basically. Okay. So option one would be fit, option two would be average, and option three would be unfit, for example, right? And this would be the additional option, just so you know what that is. Okay, then advanced settings at the bottom here is the name of the single choice field up there. How fit are you, for example? And down here, the unique key is if you wanted to pull this information into some sort of workflow or chat GPT, for example, right? Scrolling back up to the top, let's select styles and options. 
and here you can adjust all your styles like the layouts, the width, the height, all of that. Under footer, you can select stick to cart or stick to page. Okay, stick to cart is currently selected, which means the next button shows up here. If we stick to page, then that wouldn't show up. Okay, here you can adjust background color, footer height, font family, all of that good stuff, even the button color. So that was just the um, text here. Then further down and colors and background, you can even drag and drop an image. Now we have a beautiful image right behind the quiz. And we can also add a header image, which is this one here. You obviously want to format this properly to make it look professional. Then under miscellaneous, you can turn on or off agency branding or click on advanced settings and then customize your quiz even further. Then in the top right corner here, you can also click on integrate and you can embed this quiz inside any funnel or website, or you can click on link and you can share this link directly in a conversation if you're chatting on LinkedIn, for example, or send it out in an email. Now let's talk about the results page, okay? Let's scroll to the very bottom. So at the very end, this is the results page and you can edit this template. Just click on edit template and here you can see you can just customize this fully. Okay. So basically this is the content. It's set to default. You can turn on or off your business name. So here you see my name. If we turn it off, it disappears. We can keep the header layout at default or reverse it. We can change the logo. Let's say this is our logo here. Then we can, of course, change the width and the height. We can add some text. Here is the text. Then we can also adjust margin and padding. That makes the header just bigger or smaller, right? And then the background color as well. Let's say your brand color is turquoise. Ta-da! Here we go. Okay. Now, also, you can actually adjust these scores, okay? So just click on the element right here and you can see the content is a dynamic content. It's turned on. You can also toggle it off, but we want to keep it turned on. Now you can see the low is marked in red. Thank you for taking the time to complete this quiz. So that is editable. You can put anything here like, hey, these maybe some instructions, what, you know, what they need to do based on your industry. The overall score is 20 in this case, for example, right? I like that you just keep that or you change it up to you. Then the medium color is set to orange, for example, and the high to green, right? You can again change the text here. You can format the text. So this is just a formatter for the text. If you scroll down, score settings, where do you want to position the score right or left okay you can change that like that then you can show the overall score or turn it off then you can show the tiers low high and medium turn it off they disappear turn it on they come back then you have margin and padding again this is for this particular field right and again the background color white we keep it at white so if you want to adjust the tiers, the colors of the tiers here, low, high, and medium, you can do that here. You can just adjust the color here. Okay. Set it to your brand colors, maybe, or whatever you fancy, really. And here you can also set the tiers. Hey, from 0% to 39%, that means they fall in the low category. From 40% to 79%, they're the medium. And from 80 to 100, they are basically unfit. Kind of, it doesn't make any sense to mark unfit green. So we would probably want to change that to red, for example, and then fit to green. So that's obviously a good sign. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. And then what is purple here? Average that we could probably make like orange. So that makes more sense. Awesome. Then scrolling further down, here you can also adjust this particular element. Want to talk about your results. That's a really cool call to action. Here you can hyperlink your calendar link. So, hey, if you're not happy with your fitness score, then and let's talk to a specialist. Let's create a meal plan for you that will help you to, you know, reach your fitness goal by the end of the year, by Christmas, something like that. You can adjust the button text. Then scrolling down here in the last element, you can add your footer logo, your images, your social media, and even make it sticky. Okay. And that's it already. This is how you use the new quiz feature. Quizzes are also a really cool lead generation tool. So maybe just go ahead now, test it out, build your own quiz. And just send it out as a lead generation tool saying, hey, find out your specific type in your niche. For example, fitness, right? Are you the lazy type? Are you the go-getter? Are you this or that person, right? Like people like to figure out more about them, like what kind of type. And you can adjust this sort of like type lead magnet to any sort of industry, really. So go check it out for yourself and I will see you in the next video.